Hi, welcome to Eugene's Nature Stuff. I'm Eugene, and this is an extended cut of the Great Horned Owl video with added commentary. This is the first owl that I've ever filmed, and I'm a bit excited and I decided to give a slight behind the scenes as to how I ended up filming this big beast. The day started slow, and there was not really much out there. There were some tufted titmice fluttering around. Then I saw a red-bellied woodpecker, um, some turkeys, some smaller birds. I, f I forget exactly what it was. Well, I was trying to just get some fun shots with the turkeys. Um, I heard the red-bellied woodpeckers kind of squawking in the trees, and I tried setting up, but they just they squawked in one tree and then flew away, squawked in one tree and then flew away. Eventually, they flew off deeper into the woods, and I tried following them, but I, I wasn't really getting much. Um, I decided to try to take a different path to go into a slighter, slightly different part of the wood. It's getting kind of late on the day at this point, around 5-ish, um, and there's light outside, but being in the woods and all, um, and on a bit of a hill, it's it's pretty dark. It's getting pretty dark in the in the forest, and I'm beginning to give up. Going, all right, a bit of a waste of a day, but at least I got to see the, the woodpecker. That was cool. Um, I started hearing some squawking that I thought sounded similar to the red-bellied woodpecker, so I went deeper into the woods again trying to find it. And it was the same situation where the squawking would happen. I'd walk towards it, and then the bird would fly away. But when I saw the bird fly away, it was a really big bird, um, and it was on the other side of the tree line away from me. So I, I couldn't really tell what it looked like, and at first I thought it was a hawk just by the size of it, because, again, I've never actually gotten the chance to see an owl in the woods in, in person before. So after I flew away, I began walking to its direction, and, and again, I heard squawking, and this kind of happened a couple of times. There was squawking, I walked in the direction, and it flew away. It's a big bird. Like, wow, that's a really big bird. Hopefully it doesn't kill me. Um, and then I, I kind of lost it after it flew away from me the third time, and... At this point, it's getting to like 5.15, I gotta get going, it's getting dark, I'm late to my friend's house already. And for whatever reason, I just turn my head, and I just see this giant body silently fly away from me. And I'm going, holy crap, what, what was that? That was definitely not a hawk. So I decide to follow it, and when I start walking towards that direction, I swear the the hair at the back of my neck just started standing up and I got the biggest biggest feeling like I was just getting watched just eyes were just right on top of me not liking what I was doing and I was getting oh god am I about to die here what, what is this giant bird just gonna claw my eyes out or something but I kept walking and I was kind of done it's like all right I lost the bird could be something watching me, maybe a coyote, I don't know. I'm getting ready to leave even after seeing these big birds flying around. Um, but at the last minute, I heard this really deep and powerful hooing um, that was just reverberating throughout the wood. And I was trying to track down where it was, and while walking, the owl that I caught on film decides to just fly away again and lands on a tree branch where I can actually see what it is. And I go, holy crap, that's a really big owl. And I set up, and I get my camera, and I zoom in, and I realize, oh my god, that's a great horned owl. I can't believe I'm filming this. So once I zoomed in, I saw that it was just staring right at me, and I go, holy crap, it does not like that I'm here. And I started noticing its talons and everything, and yeah, that was, that was exciting. It was looking around, but eventually it just kept looking right back at me, just staring right at the camera, right at me, trying to figure out what's going on, but... I was kind of trying to be very still, hoping that it wasn't going to attack me. For this shot, I used the uh, setting on my a7 III to crop the sensor in, because I was already max zoomed in with my Sigma 150-600. to um, But as you can see, it was while I was shuffling and pressing on my buttons, it was staring right at me, but then decided that uh, I wasn't really worth its time. And it need, needed to look for other things that it could probably eat.
those feathers that make up the horns are just absolutely beautiful and my favorite part about this shot is that you can see how stable the head is even with the branch moving my camera here is completely still this is all from the wind and the trees and the branches moving and amazing stabilization there Also, none of the footage here is going to be color graded. I just didn't really want to deal with that for this commentary. Plus, you can tell how it was pretty dark. I think I was shooting this at ISO, maybe like 1500. Um, and that Sigma lens, it's not the greatest lens. It's at the uh, f sub at 6.3 when you're all the way zoomed. So, And I like to shoot at a higher shutter speed when I'm filming birds. It makes the footage just look crisper, especially if they're going to be moving or flapping their wings or anything. So that also gets rid of some more light. While taking the video, I decided to snap a few pictures. Um, and the Sony's shutter is pretty loud. And as you can see here, at first it wasn't looking at me at all, but then it must have heard the shutter. And it very quickly turned around. Um, and then once I got back to doing the video, it was staring right at me. I actually moved the camera a little bit, got a little bit closer. Didn't really bother looking at me while I was doing that. It was definitely intrigued by what the sound of the shutter was. But once again, it saw that I'm a bit of a loser and decided not to do anything. On to the next shot. Once I got the tripod to cooperate, um, this was a pretty good static shot of it. What I really like about this shot is that it's a really cool profile of the face, but the best thing is that you can see the eye really well and you can just see how it's um, dialing in and whatever it's looking at with the pupil constantly dilating. And again, you can still see the stabilization of the head here. The wind isn't as severe as it was in the other clip, but it's completely, completely focused. I was standing as still like, as I possibly could just try not to make any noise not even breathe really I decided to move just a little bit closer um, a little bit more angled um, and again I was having a little commotion and it decided to stare right at me but once I stood still it focused in on something else and here again you can actually see both eyes doing that dialing in thing I loved watching it close its eyes and blink. Um, it just didn't look real. I don't, I don't know what it, I don't know what it was. It just didn't really look like it was a live animal. Kind of looked like a animatronic or something. Again, this was the first time I've ever seen one out in the wild. Um, the fact that I was getting it, I was just really excited. Taking some quick naps here. Giant pupil dilating. For this shot, I moved again, and it didn't really care at this point. I was there for about 15 minutes at already, moving around, making some noise, and I guess it got a little used to me, which is pretty nice. Unfortunately, those highlights are a little blown out, but it happens. Not the end of the world.
here I must have moved or something and looking directly at me did not like whatever I was doing So let me take those couple of steps and pissed off that I'm waking it up from its very quick nap. And like an idiot, I got a little too excited and got too close to the tripod. And my hat hit. Ruining a nice shot, you know? Ah well, live and learn. I don't really get this excited when I'm filming people, so. Nor am I getting bombarded by ticks. Basically this entire shot was staring at me like that, unhappy that I was not able to let it sleep in peace. Cleaning itself a little bit. So I skipped a couple uh, shots, I was just mainly adjusting things, the lighting and everything, and here um, the owl continued to be what I think is a bit sleepy. I'm no owl expert, so hopefully somebody in the comments can explain to me what it's doing here. I'm assuming I'm trying to take a quick nap before it's time to start hunting again. Didn't like that I was there in existence, kept staring at me. That's one of the most evil eye stares I think I've ever gotten from anything. I have a Russian tortoise that gives me side eyes a lot. Um, and then my girlfriend gives me plenty of death stares. I think the cell matches the intensity from my girlfriend. Especially when she's trying to sleep, if, if I nudge her, she looks at me like that. I'm just going to let this clip keep rolling, it's a really cool shot. Not much happens here, but it's going to be it's part, part of the whole extended cut experience.
It was the same exact shot, I just wanted to break up the file sizes a little bit easier for me when I'm going back to edit. Kept staying pretty sleepy. Kept sitting there with eyes closing or keeping them open. Again, not sure if it's sleep or not, but it's the way it looks to me. This was a pretty warm September night. It was about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 26 and a half in Celsius. Plenty of bugs out and about. Plenty of critters here. Some loud crickets were hanging out right next to me. At this point, I think it was around 5.30, 5.45. Sun was getting pretty low. Not a lot of light. Here it sees me moving about a bit. when I open. Then eventually settles back in. cut here to where I'm moving around trying to find another shot and the moment I start moving around it sees that I'm doing that staring right at me again so while it's cleaning itself I'm actually walking around trying to find that other suitable spot to move the camera, see if I can get a cool shot of it from the front. Um, this is when it sees me while I'm walking around. Uh, at this point I walked behind a small structure that was nearby but then when I come when I came out the other side it, just, it picks me right back up and then I got a little too close it turns around and flies away and that was that well, that's it for this video. If you watched all the way through, thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed the extra footage. I plan on doing more of these types of videos, so if you liked it, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do whatever. This is Eugene, and this is my nature stuff. Thanks again for watching.